Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're on the 308. We finally rectified that major setback with the rust problem, and we are going to be fitting some of these 308 conversion parts to the car to make it look great again. Anyway, sit back, grab yourself a cup of this, enjoy the show, and I will explain today's action plan. <laughs> Let's run through today's action plan and start with this little lot here. So we are going to be focusing on the rear valance and this rear bumper. There's a reason for that and that is all of this needs to be done in a certain order. Uh, neither of these are going to be straightforward as expected with this car it always throws me a few curveballs and I can tell you straight away both of those are not just simply bolt on. Uh, let's start with the valance. Now I've already, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, I already put a video for a little shout out for some help on this one. Uh, the rear sections of that don't simply slide up into here, they need to sit up here. We've got all this framework in place so I expect they're going to need to be cut to be able to fit this onto there. And the next bit, rear bumper. So Euro rear bumper is completely different to the US. In fact, all of this framework at the back of the US car is completely different to Euro. So we are gonna to have to make some modifications here. First of all, we've got the box section here where our extremely big and heavy bumper shocks for the US car sit and they protrude down here. Now, Euro car, are very different indeed. They literally just have a couple of little brackets that sit out like this, not much bigger than this, and then the bumper just slides on and bolts on over those. So our first modification is to do this. Now in the last video I did say we were going to finish off by painting all of this and sealing it up. Decided not to do that at this stage. We were going to do it with this stuff, the Pour 15, but I do need to make, like I say, some modifications here. So once I've done the modifications, I'll finish off by uh, painting it all up. So the second modification will be, um, obviously the valance goes down here and I need the valance in place for our little cutouts there for both exhausts. So I know exactly how high the exhaust needs to be because the exhaust system is completely different. So that then, once I've got that in place, I can then remount the exhaust hanging brackets here. If you remember, we cut those off. They need to fit on the framework down here. And again, this framework is completely different to the Euro. It's much bigger, much thicker. So uh, where our mounts were up here, they're more likely to be down here on the Euro. So once we've got everything in place, we can just fit it all up get a uh, get a kind of line of sight and then just weld those in place. So that's the action plan for this little lot. Exhaust system also, also needs to go on. And then I'm gonna show you some of the other upgrades we've got. All of this, or most of this came from uh, Superformance. We've got a great deal for you guys. Now the majority of all of this, wheels, bumpers, extra pipes we've got going in today for the exhaust system and some future upgrades on the 308 all came from my guys at Superformance. Now, I've been using Superformance, as you well know, for the last 20 years. They are the best in the business and I have hooked you guys up with a fantastic deal to save you some money. We have free shipping on all Ferrari goods within reason, as long as it's nothing big and bulky as such as that kind of size, all of this stuff, uh, your service kits, free shipping worldwide for a limited time only. I'll explain how to get that deal. The process is extremely simple. Just head on over to superformance.co.uk, select all the Ferrari parts you need, add them to the basket. In your checkout window, just put in my code in the box here, Ratarossa3081 and then continue with your checkout and you will get yourself free shipping. Okay, let's start off with the bumper. So we need to make some kind of bracket here in order for this to be able to sit like this, hanging out of the car. And then I'll put a patch in here 
and we'll weld that in place and seal that all up. So it needs to protrude like somewhere about here. So I have a plan. We'll get rid of that. What I'm going to do is use these two studs, these two mounting points here. I'm going to take some of my spare bar here. I'm going to make, I'm going to make a bracket to sit in here. Uh, so let me show you the plan. Let's take this. All right, let me sketch it out with my uh, trusty lilac Sharpie this time. I should be sponsored by Sharpie, shouldn't I? So we're going to take our box section there. Uh, we've got our studs in the car that we're going to need to mount into. So here we are. So we're going to take a box section. Uh, let's draw it like this. So here's our little box section. Then we're going to come actually about like that. Uh, but then I'm going to cut off some of the box section like this and like this. We're going to drill a hole here. We're going to drill a hole here. Those will go over here. That will be space for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole here through the other side. We are going to take that. That is going to go through there. And we're just going to put a knot on that so we can adjust it in and out as far as we need it. And that is it. So we're going to bolt that down here, bolt that down here, and bolt that through there. And then this will come out the back of the car. So that's the plan. Let's go make it. Actually, while I'm here, let me talk you through this stuff here. You're probably wondering what it is and what it is for. Well, it's all from Superformance and it's all to go on this. Let me talk you through this first of all. Have a look at that suspension gap there. That's normal, not too bad. 308s do sit quite high. The rear end, obviously we have all of this stuff out here, but we have taken out about 40 kilos of bumpers alone. Plus we have lighter manifolds. We don't have any cats in the car. Cats weigh a lot of, uh, take up a lot of weight back there. We have a lighter exhaust system. Um, so it is sitting high and it, they do sit high anyway. So I would like to drop the car. Now these are all preset um, and they are 1983. So they are very, very old. So we're gonna be doing a complete refresh on the, uh, on the suspension system. So we've got some lovely coilover, shocks to go in front and rear sports springs uh, so we're going to be lowering it we're going to drop this one just slightly down give it a little bit of a meaner stance and at the same time we're not going to do it all by half we are going to do the full job uh, so we have all the suspension kits here from superformance so we're going to be refreshing all the bushing uh, and everything that is needed on the front and the rear of that car to make it drive nice again and look a bit nicer as well. One of the first jobs of today is we're gonna be fitting this bumper. Now, in order to do that, let me just show you the way it mounts onto the car. So we have these Euro type fittings. And like I say, the little bar comes from the car into there and you just bolt it up. Very simple, nice, effective way of doing it. So we need to look at two things. First of all, the whole point of doing this was to get a bumper that was not protruding out of the car like the US picnic tables. And this needs to sit in here like this, but I need to find out exactly how far the Euro cars sit out. And I also wanna have a look at exactly how that mounting point works on the Euro car. In order to do that, I need to find a Euro car. Now, it does so happen that I have one. So let's head on over there and measure up. Well, as you do, you come along to your 308 that's spare and you use that to compare. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, I need some new hood shocks on this. I love this car. Such a cool colour. Right, so two things. First of all, we wanted to have a look down here. So let me get a uh, torch. Where's the button? Okay, first of all, right, so what? I, let me see if I can set this up somewhere. How's that? Not too bad, will you stay there? Right, okay, so I wanted to see if we had a panel here, and I don't have one on this car. 
and I couldn't see one in the parts diagram either. It looks like it's got this kind of protection on it. I don't know if that's original or not, but I can see these. And I, uh, and obviously on mine, with that kind of corrugated uh, bit of aftermarket metal someone had cut, you can't see all that, that was all covered up. So, this looks to be original. I don't know if they changed that on the, uh, on the QV, or also, we've got this here, this kind of heat shield, which goes over the manifolds. Now this was a US import, but it was an original European car. There's a few cer certain telltale signs. Number one, straight away, the obvious one is the bumper. Number two is that lower valance, which is uh, what I'm converting the QV to. Apologies for the uh, aeroplanes flying over. Now, as you can see, it's got the side markers. Unfortunately, they've been added afterwards, which means they've drilled through into the wing here. Same at the front of the car. And um, yeah, we've got a big front uh, valance on this one, the front spoiler as well. So it's a really, really nice spec'd out car. Anyway, so that is the kind of firewall there. Nothing on it. So if you've got a QV, if you wouldn't mind having a look and let me know in the comments below if there should be something here. Right, the next thing I want to do, two more things. Measure the distance of this bumper in three places. And then secondly, also the key one today is to look where the exhaust hangers are on the frame because that is what I need to modify on my car in order to mount all the exhaust system. Got my trusty tape measure, so middle, let's say about here, coming out, um, it is from the kind of body line there, just under the lower part of the body, where's that over there? It's about two inches. Okay, and then the sides, so the center is two, let's go side underneath that. Um, again, just over two inches. I know the history of this car it might have had a little knock at some point and again just about two inches so that is the rear bumper for so two inches out another difference i've just noticed is the engine lid these are completely different design to the qv and the us version let's squeeze our way down to the front of the car but the front indication is these are color coded these grills some people uh, did that aftermarket anyway, but it uh, does look nice. Really, really nice color coded. US spec side markers ruined. We have a original spare space saver wheel. Look at that baby. Never been used. Right, so let's uh, do what we came here for. So let's measure up this front. So. First of all, you can see these, so the light housing, this uh, plastic bit at the back is basically in line with the front of the car there. And that is about whoa, 45 mil, about two inches there. And central is, again, about 45 millimeters. Cool, all right, we've got what we need check this out do you know how that happened that was one of my first 308s we've got the other one here as well look at this had a slight fire at the back caused by a coil pack coming off and I'll show you the result anyway that was the first reason I did a euro conversion okay I'm going in now, a couple of little things I've noticed here. So, where's our bracket? Our bracket is right down on the frame down here. Whereas my US one was up the top there. So I'm gonna to measure to see exactly where that is. And we've got a different design. Now this is an 82 GTSI, which is different, has a different exhaust system than the QV. So this is just a rough estimation, just to see if it's gonna be in the same place. And the other thing I've just noticed use this bar here look at this floor so on my car we just put all that metal floor in 
that's fiberglass. It's completely different on the U Euro cars. That is not metal. Okay, so I'm gonna measure that up. We'll get a uh, rough idea where it should be. And then we'll uh, make a judgment to see if that is the same on the QV. The other thing I want to look at is the mounting brackets. These Euro bumpers. So that's my bracket. And then that is literally just a bar that must come out from the car. So that's how we're going to modify it. So let's take this over and make this into a couple of bumper brackets. Okay, let's see if this works. That is the bracket, not the prettiest, but very, very solid. And you don't see it anyway, it's all hidden here. So we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna bolt that down, put that one in place already. And then we'll mount the bumper and see what our alignment's like. Okay, so they're bolted in place. We've got our little studs protruding out. So, needs to be about five. This one needs to come in. What is that? It's about five from there. Anyway, let's just set that up about right. We just need to tighten that up, but I can straight away see a problem. Let me show you the problem. So as you can see, the problem is our gap here is way too big. So we need to raise that bracket up. And basically these bars that come out need to be right at the top of those holes. Uh, we need to close that gap. Otherwise, when our valance comes down here, it's just not gonna fit. Basically our problem lies here. I think our stud that needs to come out needs to come more at the top of this hole here. So right up here. Now I could do two things. I can modify the bracket. I could put some spaces underneath it and raise it, but then I want it to be really solid and rigid. And then we're just going to be right at the top of these studs. But I think what I'm going to do is something slightly different. Okay, have a listen to Rattarossa's plan. We're on the Testarossa workbench. We are going to take some more of my spare metal work from the, uh, the rust fix. Here's my bracket. So we need to be up about here where the hole is. So um, simple idea. We're just going to, I could, like I say, put some spaces underneath that and raise it. But I want this to be very, very rigid and hold that bumper sturdy in place. So cut a piece of that out, weld it on top of there with my uh, trusty new MIG. And that should get me in the right area. And then I've got a little bit, a tiny bit of movement in the bracket itself. So we should be able to adjust it and get it perfect. Okay, now we're going to take our tap and die. Try and do this one step further. And just cut a thread into this hole. I've brought out the trusty Stahlwerk welder again, any excuse. So what we're going to do is we're just going to weld those on top of there and hopefully that should fix our problem.
Okay, let's go test these out. Let's get that, tighten that up a little bit. looking good let me show you really happy with that a little fine bit of adjustment after and don't forget we've got these little rubber bits that kind of sit in here i think they're on the uh, euro version as well i shall check but um yeah it needs to come out a little bit but other than that the gap is brilliant job done now that we've finally managed to get that euro bumper on the back of this us car Let's try and do the same with the front. Now, a couple of videos ago, we had the dilemma of the brackets on this, and I didn't have a welder at the time, but I have one now. So we're gonna make a slight change of plan to that, and I'll talk about that in a second. But the problem on the front bumper didn't stop with just the brackets. No, this car likes to challenge me. So uh, I had another issue, and that was that the bumper, the Euro bumper, the original Euro bumper, and I have two of them, neither of them would fit on this car. Let me show you what I mean. Let me take this one, for example. This is one of my two original Euro 308 bumpers. Don't forget we have an original Euro lower valance here. We have the QV grille, and obviously I've added spotlights on this one as well. But if I go to fit this in here, it simply will not fit. Now, if I get it, I can just about get it right in there, but it comes out way, way too low. And this is the main problem here, is literally more than half of that fog light on either side is then behind the bumper. And it also means that the bumper is too far out. So that's no good. I couldn't figure out why. Well, let me show you the solution. And right there is the answer to our conundrum. So that has had me puzzled for a long time. And basically this is a front bumper for a US to Euro conversion made by Superformance. And I reached out to the guys. I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. I had these original pieces here, all original front end stuff and yet I couldn't get them to fit. So I said, can you do me a massive favor? Can you take a picture of your bumper for your US conversion? Thinking it was gonna be exactly the same as the Euro ones, but no. If you take a close look, it's a much lower profile. So you've got all this, but then underneath what you don't see on the Euro is this sloped part, whereas we have it all flat here. So let's see if that fits on the car. So this is our super performance bumper and check this out it slides straight in there without any problems at all and it just it leaves the uh, fog light there exactly as it should be i've, I've compared that to a uh, genuine euro spec 308 qv and that is perfect so the problem doesn't stop there though <laughs> let me show you the next dilemma so as expected on this car, nothing is straightforward. There's always a curveball when we try and do any of these jobs. So this is a uh, original Euro front bumper bracket. I trimmed it down because we were gonna try and mount these to those uh, US shocks. I was gonna put that in here, but surprise, surprise, it doesn't fit. Uh, it's too wide, I could trim it down, but looking at the uh, Super performance ones, they come in and they come down here. So I've ordered up a couple of those brand new ones. They should be here. And then the plan with the bracket on this is we're gonna try and mimic the original factory spec. So same as the rear, we just have a bar that comes out of here, both sides, one there, one there. And that just slots inside here and it just gets bolted up. So that is what we're gonna do on this one. That is the new plan. Um, but I'm just waiting for the new brackets and then we'll get the front on, we've got the rear on. And finally, this is starting to take shape. Okay guys, that is it for this one. I'm gonna wrap it up. We haven't quite got everything finished that I really wanted to do today. I am gonna to be uh, finishing off that front bumper as soon as those brackets arrive, hopefully tomorrow. 
and um, we will continue with some of that back-end conversion and get this one finally starting to really take shape and uh, you know who knows you can join me with my ever-growing array of 308 front bumpers here <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with these things afterwards anyway hope you enjoyed it don't forget check out Superformance for your free shipping on all your Ferrari parts worldwide don't forget put in my code and also you can check me out on a daily basis over on my Instagram channel find out what I get up to behind the scenes I have given a sneak peek on what we've been up to on this car so uh, head on over there and have a look until then, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.